Hello, this is Zeta Boulay and I hope you're having a beautiful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. Well, today we're meeting a new inventor, a whole new inventor, and his name is Elijah McCoy. Elijah McCoy invented a very important device during the early days of train travel. The first trains ran by steam. To function properly, steam engines needed constant fuel and lubrication. The fuel could be completed while the train was moving by shoveling coal into the firebox. But for the lubrication to occur, the train needed to come to a complete stop so it wouldn't overheat. So thanks to the automatic engine lubricator invented by Elijah McCoy, steam-powered trains no longer had to stop during travel in order to lubricate. Remember, when something is first invented, it's usually complicated. It's not in its best state yet. So it has to be tweaked. Somebody has to come up with a device or a gadget to make it work more efficiently. And that is what Elijah McCoy did with the steam engine. This is the diagram for it. This is what he submitted to the patent office. He called it a drip cup that it constantly dripped oil into the engine so that the train wouldn't have to stop and be lubricated so often. This little gadget was an instant success with steam locomotive companies and everybody was buying it. But it was so simply made that other people started trying to reproduce it. But they were reproducing fakes. And when the locomotive companies would buy these fakes, they didn't work well. They didn't work like they were supposed to. And they would complain that they wanted the real McCoy. And that's where the expression, the real McCoy, came from. It came from Elijah McCoy's invention that really worked. The patent number for his automatic lubricator is 614,307 and he applied for it on November 15th, 1898. This is from his bio which lets you know what a busy inventor he was. It says, in 1916, McCoy created the graphic lubricator which allowed new superheater trains and devices to be oiled. In 1920, Elijah established the Elijah McCoy Manufacturing Company. With his new company, he improved and sold the graphite lubricator as well as other inventions which came to him out of necessity. He developed and patented a portable ironing board after his wife expressed the need for an easier way of ironing clothes. When he desired an easier and faster way of watering his lawn, he created and patented the lawn sprinkler. So, so see, he was busy. He was busy and he's got patent for these things. So it's not like anybody made this up. Elijah McCoy was born on May 2nd, 1844 in Colchester, Ontario, Canada. His parents, George and Mildred McCoy, had been enslaved from birth and became freedom seekers leaving Kentucky for Canada on the Underground Railroad. George McCoy enlisted in the British forces and in return he was awarded 160 acres of land for his service. Well, good for him. At the age of three, McCoy and his family moved back to the United States and eventually settled in Ypsilanti, Michigan, where his father opened a tobacco business. Even from a young age, McCoy loved playing with his father's tools and machines and experimented with different ways to fix and improve things. When he turned 15, McCoy was sent to school in Edinburgh, Scotland, where he studied mechanical engineering. When he returned to the U.S., he landed a job working for the Michigan Central Railroad. The company's deep-rooted discriminatory practices excluded black men from becoming engineers at that time, so McCoy was hired to work in the boiler room of trains as a fireman. This position required him to shovel coal into the train's furnace and maintain the engine's moving parts, axles, and bearings. So this is how he got the idea working in that boiler room. That's how he got the idea for that automatic lubricator. Throughout his life, McCoy continued to improve the effectiveness and design of his automatic lubricator. The Michigan Central Railroad promoted him to the position of an instructor where he taught others how to use his inventions 
and he later became a consultant to the railroad industry at large regarding patents. At the time of his passing in 1929, he held 57 U.S. patents primarily related to the railroad industry. And this handsome young fellow says, Elijah McCoy, the real McCoy. Because of them, we can. And that's a fact. Because of them, we can. That's why so many of us have no patience with those who say we can't. Elijah McCoy married twice. The first wife was named Anne Elizabeth Stewart. They don't say anything about her or what happened to her. He married for the second time in 1873 to Mary Eleonora Delaney. The couple moved to Detroit when he found work there. Mary McCoy died in 1923. She helped found the Field of Sweetley Home for Aged Colored Men in 1898. Elijah McCoy died in the Eloise Infirmary in Nankin Township, now Westland, Michigan, on the 10th of October of 1929, and he was 85 years old. He died as a result of injuries suffered in a car accident seven years earlier in which his wife Mary died. He's buried in Detroit Memorial Park East in Warren, Michigan. So, Elijah McCoy, the real McCoy, came through the slave system made it through, and made a big name for himself. Fought through discrimination, segregation, and everything else you had to fight through in those days. But he got his invention, and he got his patent, and he has his recognition. So, rest well, our brother. You did well. Okay, thank you for listening. Let me know what you think about the video. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always... Have a great day.